Hi everybody, I am Dr. Astosh Kumar. I am a uh, clinical director of cardiac electrophysiology at Care Hospital Hyderabad. Today uh, I will be discussing something about pacemaker. A lot of uh, queries comes from the patient, what is pacemaker and uh, how it works, what is the longevity. So first of all pacemaker is more like a battery with a wire and this no, it is not only a battery, it is a mini computer. So this device which is uh, Depending upon size to size, it, it can be like of this size or if it is a ICD, it will be something bigger and sometimes it may be of very small size. So pacemaker are usually of small size and when it is coming for the de devices we call a CRT and ICD, it will be of bigger size. And what we do, we implant this thing just under the skin, means on the left side or right side depending upon the doctor's choice and the disease. So this will be under the skin and this wires which is there, it will go inside the heart through the vein. So we all are having the vein and the same vein which is going from the hand to the heart, we are going through that we call as axillary vein or subclavian vein by which uh, we will be entering inside the heart. This procedure is conducted under local anesthesia. So it is a minimally invasive procedure which is done under local anesthesia with a small cut on the below the collarbone and we implant this device inside the skin or we can say inside the muscle and these two wires or three wires will be there depending upon the type of devices it will be positioned inside the heart and we just uh, position at a particular location so that the battery drain should be less so we call say the appropriate position in the right chamber or upper and lower and sometimes on the left side also now coming to the what is the uh, life of the device so device uh, is having some battery lithium batteries are there and it works from 8 to 10 years sometimes 12 and 15 years also and the longevity at least we can expect that uh, it will be 8 to 10 years mostly it works and uh, uh, longevity depends how much battery has been drained by the patient's disease condition sometimes it will be totally dependent where it will be totally and battery will be draining. Sometimes it will be intermittently means on and off the heart rate is needing uh, the pacemaker support we call as a non-dependent patients. Here it may go 15-20 years also. And uh, coming to the how is the life of the pacemaker. So if I have been implanted with pacemaker you can't say that I am, I am having or not by seeing from outside. So all the things what you are doing or what I will be doing it is the same. There is, a, there is a minor restriction we can say on the side of implant that person should not lift the arm above the shoulder as much as possible and wherever the high magnetic tension wires are there they should avoid and if they are doing the job in which there are a lot of electrical problems, electrical things or source, uh, uh, electrical shock can come, those things has to be avoided as much as possible. Home appliances, everything he can do. And there is nothing uh, much about the pacemakers, it, the size has been reduced very much. There are some pacemakers in which you can implant inside the heart and there is no wires from the outside, we call it the leadless pacemaker. Devices come with the two types, one is the MRI versus non-MRI. Most of the devices now in the, available in the, the MRI means you can do the MRI with those devices. And finally, there are some devices in which there is a Bluetooth, means you have not to go to the hospital for every evaluation. The device can be transmitted by the Bluetooth by your mobile to the doctor and he can give that yes, rhythm is fine and the battery status is fine and even there is no rhythm disorders. So this is the new innovation in the pacemaker industry and this is giving a lot of benefit for the patients. And sometimes you can monitor the patient's rhythm by we call as a home monitoring. You will be given some devices and that will transmit to the doctor's team and they can tell you regarding that whether your their device is working or not. So there is no need of after implantation every time you have to come to the hospital for evaluation. Thank you.